Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. So yes, it is your fragrance bestie back again with another fragrance video. Y'all have been loving my fragrance videos, so I'm gonna keep pushing them out. But also, how do y'all like the fact that I be putting y'all on? Because I don't just be telling y'all to go out and buy Gucci fragrances, Burberry fragrances for $135. I give y'all tea on fragrances for the low. So today's video is going to be how to smell like a baddie, how to smell expensive, how to smell like like luxury how to smell like a luxury black woman for the low so i know like you know the emerging like fragrance community on tiktok and instagram it can get overwhelming when you don't really have a perfume collection or even when you do have a perfume collection because i personally get overwhelmed by all of the tom fords i see down my timeline knowing that i can't afford no tom ford fragrance so i'm here as your fragrance bestie to put you guys on to all of the designer fragrances fragrances that are probably more than half of the price so some online retailers that i usually look for my luxury fragrances on are cospar rebel scents and dossier you guys know i did a video with dossier and i showed you guys dossier spin on mark jacobs perfect which was literally perfect <laughs> but yeah these are other fragrance websites where you can go purchase some fragrances and they literally will be a fraction of the price. However, my favorite places to actually go in store and shop fragrances are places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. They usually have all of your favorite designer fragrances right there that you can literally go grab with your hands go walk to check out and go check them out for the low so today i have some fragrances from tj maxx that i want to show you guys so these are fragrances that i have picked up throughout the month of september and some of october and i think it's like five or six fragrances in here that i actually picked up and i wanted to try or fragrances that I had been loving and just wanted to re-up on. The only thing about stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls, you cannot try the fragrances. So some tips that I usually do are to look up the notes. So you guys know I talk about notes on my channel all the time and you guys should already know what my favorite notes are. I love notes of vanilla. I love gourmands. I love um, bergamot. So like for citrusy scents, bergamot is a really good note. I love patchouli for those warm and spicy spicy sexy seductive fragrances so I already know what I like so when I go into a store and I see a new perfume that I'm like hmm I'm curious about this or I've seen it somewhere else and I want to try it I just look at the notes and if I feel like I will like the notes I get it if I feel like I do not like the notes and I feel like I'm a little skeptical I don't get it because with these references once you open them you cannot take them back to the store so that's the only downfall but so far all of my blind buys have always been spot on and I love that for me so the first fragrance that I want to show you guys is actually the most recent fragrance and I got it last weekend on like a whim like I went into TJ Maxx and I just randomly got it. I saw it on some people's like perfume trays like on Instagram and stuff. But this was like years ago I was seeing this fragrance. But when I saw it I was like hmm. I looked at the notes. They all seemed like notes that I would like. And I ended up purchasing the fragrance. So it is just Cosmopolitan Love Unfiltered. And I actually absolutely love this fragrance. Um, You guys have seen this before. This is like the Eau de Juice perfume by Cosmopolitan. It is in the little juice container. It's so freaking cute. Like how I, I couldn't pass this up. When I saw this I was like I, I kind of want it. Even if it's thing I kind of just wanted it to have it on my perfume shelf. But it smells so good. It is the perfect full scent so this is a 1.7 ounce I would consider this a full-size fragrance and this fragrance only comes in the 1.7 ounce but it was only $20 $20 let's see how much it retails for this fragrance on Ulta.com retails for $40. I got it for half the price. $19.99 is how much I paid for this fragrance. So do I think it was a steal? I sure do. And do I think you should go out to TJ Maxx and try it? I sure do. The next fragrance I got is Vince Camuto Bella. And you guys have heard me talk about her on my channel multiple times. <laughs> so if you guys want to know my thoughts on this fragrance, go back to my other fragrance videos. But I just got a 
another one because I was running very like dangerously low. There was nothing left in the bottle. So y'all guess how much I paid for this fragrance. I'll wait while y'all guess but on VinceCamuto.com the one ounce because that's what I got. I got the one ounce in this fragrance. The one ounce retails for $55. Guess how much I paid? I paid $20 as well. $19.99 for the one ounce of Vince Camuto Bella y'all. I, I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't I don't know. Like if you decide not to take my advice, I'm literally giving you the recipe. Like I'm I'm giving you where to go. You just have to go. Like $55 and then you only paying $20? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The next fragrance I got is Hermes Twilly. And I don't really know how to pronounce this specific one. I think it is Twilly Eau Pauvre. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it is the perfect full scent. I've been loving it. This is the one ounce. And on Macy's.com it says it retails for $107. But y'all I paid $49.99 for this fragrance. A Hermes fragrance. Hermes, the designer fragrance for $50. Y'all, I'm going to just keep going. The next fragrance I have is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. And I actually already smelled this. So this was not a blind buy. I smelled it at my mom's perfume store. And let's see what it retails for. So on Ulta.com, it says that the one ounce retails for $45. I paid $24.99. So, I mean, yeah, and it's the regular one ounce and it comes with the little heart accessory. So, it's not like a travel size perfume. It is almost a full size perfume. For $25, I feel like that is perfect, especially because this is a very, very popular scent. Like, it's currently popular. It's not like an old scent that came out years ago. Like, this scent is currently trending. So, to get it for only $25, I feel like that is amazing. The next fragrance I have is Burberry London. And on Nordstrom.com, this fragrance retails for $102. This is the full size 3.3 ounce. And I got it for $39.99. So I got it for more than half of the The price. next fragrance I have is Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. And y'all know Flower Bomb. Everybody has Flower Bomb. Everybody talks about Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb is that girl. And on Sephora.com it says that Flower Bomb in the 0.6 ounce. So this is the mini size. It says that it retails for $55 on Sephora.com. But I got it for $44.99. So with this one it was a bit different. Like it wasn't a huge price change it was about five dollars off but it's still a good discount and anywhere i can save money i am super happy so even though it wasn't that big of a price difference i feel like this is definitely an amazing buy because this everybody has flower bomb flower bomb is definitely very very trendy as well so if you can save a couple dollars i suggest that instead of you going to a sephora or a perfume store you go to your local tj maxx or marshall's and the last fragrance i have is chloe love story and this is actually for my mom but i will be wearing it because she really wanted this so I'm gonna give it to her but I'm still going to spray it on myself from time to time but this is the 1.7 ounce and on macy.com it says that it retails for $105 but I got it for $59.99 so that is all for the perfumes that I purchased for the low and wanted to put you guys on to make sure you guys run don't walk run to your local Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, stores like those. Go to them, go to their perfume section and go find you some gems because this is not the first time I found amazing fragrances for the low. I got my Tory Burch fragrance from here. I got my Juliet Has a Gun fragrance from there. So they have the gems but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below any more fragrance ideas or any fragrance questions that you guys would want your fragrance bestie to put you guys onto. i'm only here to help i'm only here to help you guys grow and you know i'm growing with you guys with my fragrance collection and i'm i love this fragrance stuff so i love these videos but i'll see y'all in the next one bye loves